few days that I've been in Lubbock since I've been hired have been have been okay. They've been they've been good. They've been great. The people have treated us kindly. Uh, just been you know like I said I haven't been here very often though since I've been hired. Uh, it was the, the the open period, so I've been running around like crazy. So uh, as I told Coach Smith, trying to wave the, the Texas Tech flag around as many gyms uh, as we could possibly throughout the state. So, uh, but to answer your question, it's been great. What made Tech an attractive job for you? Um, well, I've obviously been in the Big 12 for f five years. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been out here and I've seen it. Uh, I was actually here tonight that Coach Knight tied the record and sat on the Texas uh, A&M bench and got our butts whipped. So I've seen it when it was really, really strong, and I, I've, I've seen it kind of go through what it's been through here the past, uh, uh, you know, few years. And the most attractive thing to answer your question is Coach Smith. Uh, I've known him for 20-something years, and uh, I always joke with him and say I was the first guy that he gave a scholarship to uh, when he got the job at the University of Tulsa. And who would have known he would have 511 wins after doing that silly thing as his first uh, order as a head coach. So uh, it ended up working out for both of them. So the reunion with him to come out and help him uh, rebuild this program and get it to where it needs to be and should be uh, was the most attractive thing. What does Coach Smith kind of mean to you? Coach Smith's probably uh, in my lifetime, uh, with the exception of, of my dad, my, you know, he's the closest thing to that. Uh, he's like a second dad to me and I always has been. Again, like I said, we had a – a close relationship and uh, with him being a guy that uh, gave me an opportunity. You know, I had you know, some other guys kind of messing around, but he got the job at Tulsa and I mean, not, no hesitation. He gave me a scholarship and said, you're going to be the point guard of the future for this program. And a man of his word that he was, I ended up being that. And uh, so just, I mean, it's a relationship that goes back 22, 23 years. Coach, can you talk about just your ties to like TCU and A&M and now you're coming here. Is that going to be easy for you to kind of Stay on the recruiting grind, staying in Texas? Well, yeah, yeah. we're going to obviously recruit inside out. We're going to recruit inside the state of Texas and then work our way out. And I, I joked with someone and said I was just making a Southwest Conference tour. Uh, I got a few left, but hopefully uh, I'll be here for a long time. Uh, so, uh, no, the, you know, we're definitely going to stay busy in the state and make sure, like I said, wave the flag and get out and uh, cultivate the relationships that we already have and build more. Uh, you know, Coach Smith, I think back to the teams that I played on at Tulsa, you know, half of our team was from this state. So he's actually obviously been here and you know recruited this state in the past, but it's just been a little while since he's done it. Uh, uh, we'll see it here in a few weeks when Coach goes and speaks at the uh, the TABC Coaches Clinic. Uh, he'll be, you know, every coach in the state will be up on him and talking, and it'll be a great deal. So uh, very excited, just excited to be here at Texas Tech and excited to help coach. What was it that really sold you on the program? Excuse me, sir. What was it that really sold you on the program? I just, you know, it's one of those deals where it's like. You know the people are here. You know the facilities are in place. You know the players are in the state. I mean, you just, just need to just bring everything together. And I think Coach Smith's the guy to do that. And uh, so that's you know the deal that made it exciting. Feels great. I mean, I'm just so excited. It's uh, it's a thrill for me. You know, I was at Angelo State for eight years in West Texas, so to be able to have the opportunity to come back to West Texas and dust off my boots and and bring my cowboy hat, I was pretty excited. So I'm really excited to be here, and it's uh, it's a great move for me and my family. Can you talk about reuniting with Coach Smith? It's great. You know, I, I loved working with him in Minnesota. He's a special guy, and people here are going to find that out really soon. He's a great coach, a Hall of Fame coach, with a national championship everywhere he's been. He's won. And one season in his whole career, he didn't have 20 wins. I mean, you talk about a guy, and what, what a job he did in Minnesota. I know we had a great year this year and went to the NCAA tournament, beat UCLA by 20 points. So he's a great coach. He's a great person. And uh, he's a good friend, so I'm really excited to be here. It really is an honor for me to, to work for him at another school. Before Tubby took the job, did you two talk at all about West Texas and did he uh, drill you a little bit about, about uh, this region? Yeah, he did ask me a lot about it and what I liked about West Texas and what I liked about Lubbock. And I just told him I just love the people, the, the people and the support and being in a one-horse one town here. Uh, you know, I can remember when I was at Angelo State coming up here for the basketball games and for football games. Uh, with my sons, and uh, it was my, it was like my dream job. If Coach would have said to me, if you can go anywhere in the country to be an assistant, where would you want to go? I would have said Texas Tech. I learned quick about guns up, so I really like it here. I'm excited to be here, and it's a dream come true for me. Because your familiarity with this area and because he's so new to it, how important of a role will you kind of play in this staff? Well, I'm hoping I can, you know, 
give a lot to, to this staff being that I'm from here. Um, I, I'm really from New York, so those people in New York, if they see this, they'd be mad at me. But I can say I'm a Texan. Um, I'll start saying y'all if you let me. But um, I think I have a lot of contacts in, in Texas. You know, uh, eight of my former players or coaches are coaching in the state. Two of them are junior college coaches, and six of them are high school coaches in the state. So I do have a lot of good contacts here in Texas, so that's kind of exciting. So, you know, it's all about recruiting, as everyone knows, and that's the lifeblood of your program. So we're going to do a good job of getting out there. we got a great university to sell, a great athletic department, and we got a great head coach. So we're excited. And a great conference. I mean, everybody talks about the Big Ten and how great the Big Ten is. But uh, the Big 12 has got a great conference as well, and we're looking forward to competing. And your facility here is unbelievable. And when you look at the facilities in the Big Ten, this is, would be the best facility in that conference. So we're excited about having the opportunity to recruit to that. What do they call you, Pooh? Short version. I was probably five weeks old, orange PJs. My mom's sister, my aunt goes, he looks like Winnie the Pooh. Almost 40 years ago, stunned. 